OPEC has actually been a pretty good first responder. I mean, they have put a significant number of barrels on the market since President Trump started tweeting and since the June meeting. The real challenge, though, for OPEC going forward and for President Trump is there's not a lot of gas in the tank. I mean, Saudi Arabia is about 320,000 barrels away from their 2016 pre-cut high. And there's a question mark about how much more they can really do beyond that in the near term. So he can denounce OPEC, but really the question is, is that the real culprit for the price problem right now? Well, is it? I mean, President Trump uh, ditched the Iran nuclear deal and is enforcing the sanctions against Iran now. I mean, aggressively enforcing the sanctions against Iran. As Jackie D'Angelo's pointed out, I mean, China will likely continue to purchase Iranian barrels, but they will likely be the only purchaser in significant volume. So you're looking at a situation by year end where you could have, you know, a million to a million and a, you know, 1.5 million barrels off this market. I mean, there were reports out today that India may go close to zero by November 4. So it's going to be a significant hole in the market that the OPEC producers, Russia, is going to have to fill at a moment when U.S. production, the Permian, is really bottlenecked. So the problem for Trump is there are not a lot of additional barrels out there.